Tonight, the family of a Coral Springs man who disappeared 12 years ago has renewed hope he could be alive. For the first time in more than a decade, Iran is admitting that Bob Levinson disappeared there. CBS 4's Kerry Codd spoke with Levinson's son. He's live tonight with an update. Kerry? That's right. The family believes this could be a significant potential breakthrough. They hope this development, combined with the U.S. government's increase in the reward in this case to $25 million, will lead to Bob Levinson's safe return home. Bob Levinson has been missing since March 2007. His Coral Springs family has waited and worked tirelessly to learn what happened after the former FBI agent vanished while visiting an Iranian island. Levinson was on an assignment for the CIA. Now, this single line in a recent United Nations report has given his family new hope. It's a very significant, huge development for us. Levinson's son Dan showed us the announcement from Iran to the UN. It says that Robert Levinson has an ongoing case in the Revolutionary Court of Tehran. The Levinson family is not sure what sparked the acknowledgement, but they say it's a big deal. I think that the Iranians are coming closer to coming to the table. Um, the sanctions are having an impact in Iran. And I think uh, we're hopeful that they're starting to realize that they need to get my dad's uh, case resolved, that we're not going to let this drop or we're not going to go away. The news got the attention of President Trump, who tweeted, if Iran is able to turn over to the U.S. kidnapped former FBI agent Robert A. Levinson, who has been missing in Iran for 12 years, it would be a very positive step. Dan Levinson said the Trump administration has made his father's case a priority. Uh, the fact that he did tweet about this um, shows how important it is to the Trump administration. Levinson's family, which includes his wife and seven children, is desperate for answers. In 2010, they received a video of him. In 2011, they received some photos. But despite diplomatic efforts, including the release of other Americans held in Iran a few years ago, they've watched the days and weeks and family occasions go by with no resolution. Our last sister just got married earlier this year. Another uh, grandchild, he now has seven, and he's never met six of them. Ultimately, Dan Levinson is not sure what this Iranian acknowledgement means, but he said the family will continue pressing Iranian officials for answers. And things uh, have moved very slowly in Iran, and we're used to that, as it's been 12 and a half years, and if it's still a court case, um, it's very murky, and we don't, we don't know what's going on exactly. Dan Levinson told me if there is a court case in Iran that they do want to have access to their father and make sure he's receiving human rights protections. Dan Levinson also told me the family is preparing for their lawsuit against Iran to go to trial in Washington, D.C. next month. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News Tonight. Kerry, thank you. A 